This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's daily video update for Wednesday, August 12th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. In this series, we're exploring our tradition's seven principles. Our seventh principle of Unitarian Universalism is respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. It's no mistake that I am recording this in our congregation's memorial garden, because I talk about this principle at every memorial or celebration of life that we host. We are interconnected, which means a few things. First, what happens to any of us matters to all of us. Martin Luther King, in an address to our denomination's General Assembly, put it this way. All I'm saying is this, that all life is interrelated, inter and somehow we are all tied together. For some strange reason, I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be, and you can never be what you ought to be until I am what I ought to be. This is the interrelated structure of all reality. John Donne caught it years ago and placed it in graphic terms. No man is an, an, an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. John Donne goes on to say, anyone's death diminishes me because I am involved in humankind. Therefore, send not to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. We are all interconnected. This has implications for how we approach the work of justice, but it also matters for how we think about our connection to everyone that has traveled the path before us. At Amy Berkey's memorial this summer, we read May Sarton's poem, All Souls, which reads in part, Dear child, what has once been so interwoven cannot be unraveled nor the gift ungiven. Now the dead move through all of us, still glowing. Mother and child, lover and lover mated, are wound and bound together and in flowing. What has been plated cannot be unplated. Only the strands grow richer with each loss, and memory makes kings and queens of us. May it be so. And with that, we end this series on the seven principles, moving from the worth of the individual to the interconnected nature of reality. Tomorrow we'll talk about an eighth principle that has been proposed and adopted by many congregations in the last few years. And then on Friday, we'll wrap up this whole series with some reflections on where we go from here. <laughs>